On September 7th, we intend to allow entry for fully vaccinated travelers from any country for non-essential traveler. Travelers will have to be fully vaccinated with a Health Canada authorized vaccine at least 14 days prior to entering the country. After over a year of being closed to non-essential travel, the federal government says Canada will be ready to start accepting non-essential international travelers soon. While the rest of the world waits till September, Americans who are fully vaccinated can start arriving on August 9th in just three weeks. Also, as of August 9th, the three-night government-authorized hotel stay requirement will be eliminated for all air travelers. <coughs> Travelers will now be able to go directly to their quarantine location to complete their 14-day quarantine. But the openings aren't without restrictions. Travelers will still need to plan a 14-day quarantine and be ready to be tested during those two weeks. Visiting Americans will also need to provide their vaccine record through the ArriveCan app and pass a pre-arrival COVID-19 molecular test. However, there's still no word yet on when America will return the favor. Um, I spoke last Friday to Secretary Mayorkas, the Secretary of Department of Homeland Security. Uh, we discussed and I, I revealed to him the measures that Canada would be implementing at our border. Um, he indicated to me at this time they have not yet made a decision. Um, they, they anticipate their current measures will likely be rolled over on, on July 21st. There's also some clarity on families with kids under 12. As vaccines haven't been approved for that age bracket, unvaccinated kids can skip quarantine. This means they can accompany their parent or guardian out of the house to their destination, so long as they avoid group settings like summer camps, school, or child care for 14 days. Also in August, five more airports will be allowed to start landing international flights. Halifax, Quebec City, Ottawa, Winnipeg and Edmonton. Now, of course, this only applies to people who are fully vaccinated with a Health Canada approved vaccine. While the federal government says this news will come as a big boost to international students coming to Canada for the fall semester, there's no word yet on when Canada will start accepting people who have received vaccines like Sputnik or Sinovac, which are approved by the WHO, but not Canada. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.